Hello and welcome uh, Calculus 3 students to the spring 2023 semester. Uh, my name is Robert D. Giovanni. I'm the instructor for the course. And uh, what I wanted to do here was uh, put together a video um, that runs through all the administrative parts of how the course is set up because I really do not want to invest that time during class because as you'll see, we have a full packed schedule for the semester. And we are going to be struggling to uh, get through all of the material, uh, especially given that we have a holiday that started out uh, the semester for us. So we lost one full day already. So uh, I appreciate your patience and your understanding that I need to do this uh, in this format. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, assuming you can get into Canvas and get to our main um, homepage for our course, which is which is here, what you're looking at. Um, let's just talk about communication first. Uh, let me let me um, show you the inbox. I'm again. I'm, I'm assuming you know how to use this by now. But uh, there's your inbox. That's where you go if you want to send me an email, or if I'm going to send you something. This is where it's going to uh, be. So, just uh, to formally state that all communication here needs to take place through the Canvas email system here. All right, let me go back to our class and I'm going to switch to student view so it looks kind of like what it'll look like for you. All right, so let's talk about the syllabus first. Um, and I understand you can read, but I'm going to point out some some of the major um, major points here. Uh, first of all, um, my we're going to be meeting Mondays and Wednesdays from one o'clock till two uh, forty p.m. The room is in Juniper Hall, room 341. That actually is a change. Um, originally, probably when you registered for the course, it was in the new STEM building. But uh, I've requested to move it to Juniper Hall because uh, the way I'm gonna set things up in there, it's just uh, a better, better for me. So we are gonna be in Juniper Hall, room 341, uh, twice a week. And then my office is actually located in the same building on the first floor. You actually have to go into Juniper Hall room 111A, and then you walk down, there's a hallway with offices, and I'm actually in 1110. And I'm available for you to come in for, for help or if you have questions on anything or just, you know, where you are in the class, um, just free, not free, <laughs> say uh, walk in, you don't need to make an appointment. Uh, Monday and Wednesday, um, 8.30 till 11 a.m. And then um, again, let me see here. Uh, Tuesday, Thursday from 8.30 to 9, and then again from 12.45 to 2.45. Now, if you want to get in touch with me um, outside of my office hours, um, my cell phone number is provided here. And all I ask is that if you do, um, call, well, if you call me, fine, that's great. But if you text me, make sure that you put in the text who you are and what class you're in. Also, if you have a specific question about, um, you know, some math you're doing, I ask that you actually take a picture of the problem and then take a picture of any work that you may have that accompanies that problem and send that to me and ask your question. Uh, if you just say, hey, you know, this is Joe, um, I need help on number 32, I, I, I may be at HEB, I, I may not be able to look that up easily. So please help me out by providing me as much information as possible. But feel free to reach out. That's the whole point of me giving you my cell phone numbers. I don't want you to ever feel like you, you're alone, you can't, you can't get help. Okay, so um, more stuff. The math department information is here. Uh, let's move on. Materials for the class. You don't need to buy anything. Everything is already um, paid for with your tuition. Um, you're going to have access to an ebook. And in that ebook, you will be able to um, find the homework problems for the course. Now, you will not be doing your homework online. Um, even though we're using WebAssign, you will not actually be putting answers in online. Um, you're going to be doing paper and pencil, you know, do your homework, um, you know, in a spiral or in some sort of binder or something. And um, I will not be collecting it for a grade. It is just something that I will expect that you do. And uh, I'll talk more about homework later. But as far as materials, you do not need to buy a book. You will need a calculator. Um, I recommend a graphing calculator. Give me a second. Here. Okay, so you will need a um, calculator, scientific calculator. You may have you may have a graphing calculator. You just can't have a, um, a calculator that has a computer algebra system on it. On it, so like 
the TI-89, um, TI which is what I have here. Uh, this would not be allowed. Um, also, you cannot have the TI Inspire CAS. Um, so if you have any questions about that, you can get with me. Um, but that's only for the two exams that you will take. Um, as far as what we're doing in the class, this Cal 3 is a ton of material. Um, it's, I would say, not more difficult in terms of like comparing it to Cal 2. It's not more difficult in terms of material. It's just a lot of material. Like if Cal 2 felt like a lot of material, Cal 3 is going to feel like as much, if not more. But in terms of, of you know, learning brand new concepts, like you've already got differentiation, integration, like you've got those skills. So now we're just going to be extending that into to higher dimensional space. So um, this is all, these are all the outcomes, uh, standard grading scale. Now let's talk about the evaluation of this course. This is where most students go, whoa, I've never been in a class like this before. So the way I do the Cal 3 is you're going to have um, about eight take-home exams. So like every two weeks, I will give you an, assi an exam. Um, and those exams um, are going to be done, you know, at home. Sometimes I let you work together in, in pairs or small groups, three or four of you together. Or sometimes I'll tell you for this exam, I want you working alone. Um, that will be specified later, but you'll have eight of those exams and that is 50% of your grade. So half of your grade is take home exams. And then you have exam one, which is like a midterm and that's 20%. Then you have exam two, which is the final exam, and that's 30% of your grade. So all of your, all of your grade is exams. Um, there's no homework grade, there's no participation grade, there's no quiz grade. Um, we just don't have time in class to be doing quizzes, you know, 15, 20 minute quizzes. This is gonna be a lot of lecture, um, but um, that's just the way this class goes. It's just, there's just so much that you need to see. All right, so in terms of attendance, of course, you need to be there. If you start being absent, eventually you may be uh, withdrawn from the course or I may give you a failing grade. Now exams one and two, those will be paper and pencil traditional exams, like you know normal, normal exams. The mini exams, those eight exams, like I said, the instructions for those will vary, but they're intended to be challenging. All right, I can't, I can't stress this enough. These exams are designed to force you to understand the concepts of what we're covering, but at a higher at a higher level. So it's it's not the problems are not even like the ones in the in the textbook. They're different. So it really really is going to push you. I hope, which is the design of the or the purpose of the exams. Um, so again, always you're always allowed to ask me for help. Um, and then, like I said, sometimes you'll be working in groups and. I just um, I just encourage you to come in and, and you know sit in my office and we can talk or talk as a group, whatever. I'm really trying to get some collaboration going here. Now, of those eight exams, I'm going to drop two of them. So technically, you only have to do six of the eight. Um, if you do all eight, then maybe that could count as a bonus later. Um, but you're only required to do six of the eight. So if you've got like another class, we've got a bunch of stuff going on that week. You're just like, I don't have time for this, then you can do that. You can do that for two of them. Uh, behavior policy, it's just, you can read through that. I just want people paying attention, no phones out, don't be messing around, you know, focus on Cal 3. You're Cal 3 students, I expect you know, to be good students. So, um, homework, oh, let's see. Okay, so the homework I do, I do assign homework problems, right? Um, you'll get to the homework problems through the ebook and you'll just read the problems at the end of the session the exercises, and there's a calendar that you'll be looking at to see what problems to look at. Um, I expect you to, to do your homework. I mean, that's just an expectation. Um, even though you're gonna be also having this mini, mini exam take home thing, you do need, the whole idea is that you do your homework and then you'll be ready for the mini exam. If you just go right into the mini, mini exam without doing your homework, you're gonna be lost because you need kind of like those skills first and then the mini exam will kind of take you to, to that next level. Um, so make sure that you bring your homework with you, the homework that you've done, bring it with you every class because sometimes, you know, I'll, I'll ask to look at something or we'll, we'll say, hey, let's take out that homework problem that we did last time. See how we did this, we're gonna do this this time. And so just always bring it with you. 
Um, now, all of the homework that comes out of the, the ebook, I have videos for, and I'll show you all this in a minute. So please be aware that um, that's why I don't take homework as a grade because I've already, I've already done video solutions for all the homework. Well, most 90% of the problems I've done, a, I've done a video on. Uh, all right, pencils, pencils versus pens versus pencil. This is a new policy. If you've had me before, this is a new policy. I've never put this in any syllabus in 20 plus years of doing this. Um, I'm kind of, I don't know. I need, I need to see neat, legible work and, you know, just no pens. All right. Unless you don't, unless you plan on not making any mistakes. All right. If you're not going to make any mistakes, you can write in pen, but your work needs to be like perfect. And this is mostly for like exam, the exams you take in class. When I go to grade them, I don't want to see all this pen scratch out everywhere. Um, use pencils. All right. Uh, it's important for you to be able to communicate your ideas to me. You know, I mean, at the end of the day, the whole idea is like, you know, later on in your, your life, your career, you're going to need to communicate with your colleagues. And if it's something in the STEM field, you're going to need to be able to do it on paper. And so people need to be able to read it. So, you know, I wasn't always great at, at you know, my penmanship was not always great. It evolved over time. I want you to be working on that. So you may be the brightest student in the class, but if no one can read your work or it just looks like, uh, you know, somebody's had way too many cups of coffee, you know, then, then that's going to be an issue that I take into account. You know, I'm going to take that into account when I'm grading your, your, your work. All right. Tutoring, of course, I've already said this, come to me for tutoring. It's Cal 3. It's going to be tough to go to the tutoring lab and find tutors that can help you in Cal 3. I know there's probably a few there that, that can. But, um, you know, please visit me if you can. And, uh, you know, if, if you can't meet uh, during my office hours, then maybe we can set some appointments up. Well, you'll just have to talk to me about that. Other than that, that's it for the syllabus. I can let you read through the rest of this as the calendar and stuff in here. Let's go back to our homepage. Again, I appreciate your patience with this. I just don't want to go through this in class. All right. So when you go to get to the ebook, you're going to click here ebook access right here. And then the first time you come through here and I'm crossing my fingers this, that this works, you're gonna click here and that should, that should get you to, to be able to register for, for the actual ebook access. And then from there on out, you'll click on, I'm not sure if, if both links will work or if you have to click on this one to get to the ebook, but either way, you should be able to get to the ebook through there. And then I, I will show you, I'll sign into, um, I'll sign into my account just to show you. Well, you know what? Maybe I should have done. Let me see what happens when I click on this. I'm in student view, so I'm not sure what's going to happen. It's probably not going to let me because I'm technically not a student. I'm acting like a student here. I'll be surprised if this loads. Mm. No, that doesn't look too promising there. Let me try this one. Yeah, it's really not liking that. Okay, so I'm gonna just log in as me then. Okay, I just want to show you the ebook. All right, so eventually you will be able to get to the point where you can get in here and get to something like this. Come on. So I hope that they're not already having problems. Yeah, so I'm going to open student view here, see what happens. So you should get to something like this. And down here is the ebook. And then once you open the ebook, you can kind of navigate through here. And let's say we're going to start in chapter 10. So chapter 10. And if you go here, you can see um, for each section, there's exercises. That's where you that's where you go to do your homework. So if I say, you know, do one through 11 odd here, then you would do these problems. Paper and pencil, right? OK. All right. So let's get let's get out of here. I'll leave this open. All right, so that's your link. That's your link to your um, 
ebook right there. Now, I do intend, this is part of the reason I moved the class from the STEM building to the Juniper Hall. I plan on setting up a camera in the back of the classroom and recording our lectures every single day. And once I do that, I will post them on this YouTube playlist. So you'll click here and there'll be videos populated here right now. There's nothing here, but that's what that is. It's a link to our class lecture videos. Now, in terms of the homework solutions, I told you I had videos for the me working through the problems that I'm assigning you for homework. That's right here, you click there. And these are each of the sections and it's me, boy, these are old, six years, seven years ago. But the problems haven't changed. So, um, you know, this just, some of these are short, some of these are long. Um, it's not, like I said, it's not every single problem. Wow, look at that one, two hours, almost three hours long. So anyways, you can go here and, you know, if you're, the whole idea behind these is, you know, you attempt the problem, then maybe you bring up my video and you just kind of like compare. And uh, I will say that there are, there are errors in, there are some mistakes that I made when I did these videos. And uh, back when I made the videos, YouTube used to allow me to put these little pop-up bubbles that would say, hey, there's a mistake here. And I did it for all my videos. And then they said, you know what, we're getting rid of those. And so I never went back and, and, and fixed the mistakes. I like to let my students find them. Um, it's just kind of like challenges you to trust your own work versus mine. Um, I'm not telling you there's like hundreds of mistakes. It's, it's just, a, just a handful. Um, okay, so what's next? Um, let's look at the class schedule. Let's go ahead and, and look at this now. I recommend you download this and print it. Um, it's, it doesn't come out too clear here. Ah, if I zoom in, that's about all I can do. Um, so this lays out kind of day by day what we're gonna do. And you may be wondering like, why do we only have two exams? It's really not because I wanna give you a midterm and a final. It's because we don't have time to have three exams or four exams. We eat too much class time if we do that. So as you can see here, I've already tried to squeeze all of this stuff in here. We're doing chapter 10, 11, 12, and 13. So four chapters and we lost that day. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be a marathon sprint, but we will see how it goes. So, you know, the pace of this class, if, you, if, if it seems like we're rushing from the beginning, it's because I, I need to get through as much of this. My goal is to, to get to the divergence theorem. And that's the last chapter, last section of the book. And then at that point, if you took Cal 1, 2, and 3 here at uh, Northwest Vista, you will, you will have completed that textbook. So that's my goal, to try and get to that. Um, of course, that's tentative. So, um, you know, it's always subject to change. Let me go back and just show you again. Our, our exam one, our exam one is the, the Wednesday before spring break. So you get to like go clear your mind after this is all done and we come back, start chapter 12. Um, and then your final, this is kind of good. Your final is on a Wednesday, not the Monday. So you, you will have from our last class meeting, you will have a full week before our final takes place. Sometimes it lands on that Monday and it's like you don't get a full week to prepare. Okay, now let's get to class files. This, there's a lot to talk about here. So let me click on class files. All right, so the first, first thing in here, you know what, let me, I think I'm, oh wow, that's why it looks so small. I was zoomed out. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry about that. Um, I was wondering why everything kind of looks small. Yeah, that looks better. Wow, I forgot I had zoomed out when I was putting grades in a while back. Okay, so let me go to class files. All right, so for class files, the first thing here is the schedule, which I just showed you a moment ago. All right, the next, the next couple, let me, let me start with formulas you can bring to the exam. So on exams one and two, the midterm and final, you are allowed to bring everything in this folder you can have during the exam. And there's a ton of stuff here. I mean, there's a lot like this chapter 13 summary is 16 pages of formulas. That's just chapter 13. So all of this stuff you would have to print out on your own. So I would say to start the semester, just get all this stuff printed out to start. Um, and then you'll have it for those exams that you come you know, in class for and sit down. But this is all the stuff you can have, all right? Um, that's 
that's the uh, formulas you can bring to exams, all right? The schedule we talked about. Now, the entire class that we do, right, this Cal 3 is based upon the textbook, but it's also based upon lecture notes that I have made. Now, these lecture notes, they are lecture notes, but they're not like textbook lecture notes. When I made these, it was always designed to be in a format that I would present on, you know, on a projector. So let me show you an example of what I mean here. I'm going to open up, let me see, chapter, what do I want? Hmm, do I really want this? Let me see. Okay, this one will work. All right, so this is chapter 11, section two, limits and continuity of functions of several variables. So during class, what I'll be doing, uh, wait a minute, this is not, this is not the right file, hold on. I, I brought up the PDF version. There we go. That's what I meant to bring up. Okay, so this is what I, I will have this projected on a screen in class and, uh, I'll talk, you know, I'll bring up definitions. And then there will be these places within this presentation where I, I will have animations where I can click on things and drag things. And then we get to something like something like this, where you have things where I'm moving things around and I can spin this around and look underneath and you know, it's very useful to be able to do this. So um, that's why I use this software to do it, right? So I'm gonna be doing that during class. And these are the notes I, I will be going, you know, one by one through these pages, right? So for you, what I've provided for you in, in Canvas are two different versions of the notes. The first version of the notes is what I call the course lecture notes interactive format. So what this means is you're gonna go here, click on this. And the first thing you have to do is click on this first file, click on this link. It's gonna take you to a website to download a, uh, this player. Now, this, what this will allow you to do is open up the files that I have here for you. And you will be able to move things around and slide things and animate on your computer. All right. So everything I do in class, you'll be able to do on your own or at home or during class if you have a laptop with you. So it really is cool that you know, you'll be able to interact with the notes just like I do. So here are all the notes. You'll have to download these. And once you download those to your computer, you'll open them with that player and you should be able to do everything I do. Now, I also have those notes in a PDF format. But the problem with the PDF format is that it really is not intended to, like I said, look like a textbook. It's really just like a screen. It just captures, it captures a PDF of my presentation. So things get cut off. I'll show you here. Um, things get cut off. Sometimes it looks okay, but it see like here, it cuts the graph off. Cause this is one where if you have the interactive player, you can slide these around and the PDF just kind of when it was making it didn't really know what to do with it. So it's not great with the PDF, but it's something it's something that you can that you can have. All right. So that's um, that's what these two folders are here. So I recommend you get the interactive uh, notes in the player and then you'll be able to do, you know, all the little cool twisting and um, zooming in, zooming out and all that stuff. So that's all there for you. And that covers all the files, all right? And I think we're almost done here. Yeah, so it covers all of these. And as far as you know, your grades will be here. Modules is actually another way you can get to the ebook. Files you can get through here. And then discussions, there's a discussion board here. Although I know students are doing their own little things outside of the discussion boards here where you know, you're organizing yourselves. Um, and then people, if you want to contact other students in the class, this is where you can go. And then there's a survey at the end of the semester. So, all right. So that's it. How long have I been going here? It's not too bad. Um, I appreciate your time again. Um, I'm going to get, I'm going to come into class on what we're meeting Wednesday for the first time. 
And I'm just going to say hello, quick little introduction of what Cal3 is about, and then I'm getting down to business. So uh, thanks again. I'll see you soon. Everybody take care.